Hello GP family, I'm your proud superintendent Michelle Cavazos and I've got some big news to share today on behalf of our board of trustees and district leadership. You may remember that earlier this school year we released notice to you that federal funding for student meals will expire after this school year. At the time, we also promised to let you know what kind of pricing to expect as you prepare to pay for student meals once again in the fall of 2022. Today I'm here to share that information with you. The federal funding provision that was made possible for GPISD families after Hurricane Harvey in the 2017-18 school year, since that time all of our students have been able to receive a free breakfast and lunch at GPISD schools because the cost for all of those meals was covered by federal funding. With the transition back to having families either apply for free and reduced meal benefits or pay for their student meals, the standard practice for school districts, I can tell you that our projections for meal costs next year indicate that you could expect to pay between $3 and $3.50 per student lunch beginning in the fall of 2022 next year. However, because the first priority of our school district is to make progress toward exceptional student performance, and we know that students must be fed well to perform well in school, our team reevaluated this situation. We asked ourselves what, if anything, we could do to help families make sure all students are fed each school day, whether they could pay for meals or not. As a result, we made a recommendation that your school board approved this week. For the 2022-23 school year, all student meals will be free for all students because this time, Gregory Portland ISD will cover what would have been the out-of-pocket cost for families, ensuring that no parent needs to worry about paying meals for their students in the year to come, and ensuring those students are best prepared and ready to learn. This $1.2 million decision is a one-time investment in you, our GP families. It equates to an estimated $1,000 in savings for each student in your household next school year. While we are delighted to support you and provide this investment, we also want to remind you that there will be a time in the future when we will have to return to the standard practice of families either applying for free and reduced meals benefits under USDA guidelines or paying for school breakfast and lunch each day during the school year. For now, we anticipate the earliest time we will return to the standard payment process will be for the 2023-24 school year. We encourage you to visit g-p.org forward slash Wildcat Cafe to view some images showing what you would have been paying for student meals next year and in the last five years while the district has received federal funding for meals. This will help give you a clear picture of where we are and how pricing increases slightly each year due to standard economic inflation, a reality for all restaurants and food service providers, including school districts. I want you to know that this change was made possible thanks to some amazing leaders in our community. It's School Board Recognition Month in Texas, and I want to sincerely thank our Board of Trustees for their support to make this investment possible yet another example of the way their decisions directly impact our students, families, staff, and community in positive ways. There's also one other thing I'd like to share with you today. This decision was made with great consideration for the needs of our families. In GPISD, we believe our parents and families are true partners, have a voice, and have high expectations. As true partners who have a voice, we ask that you share that voice with us as often as possible. There are some times when our district will release a survey opportunity, and I understand sometimes how that can be received. Even I've seen a survey come through my email and asked myself, do I have the time for that right now? I'd like for you to know that the couple of minutes you take to respond to a GPISD survey is time well spent for your children and for our community. We do thoroughly review all of the feedback we receive from surveys and we use your voice as communicated in this way to make important decisions that impact our schools and our students. When you see a GPISD survey opportunity come through your email, please know they are usually just a few questions in length, short and sweet. 
It won't take you much time, and it's absolutely vital for us to hear your voice. Thank you to all who responded to recent surveys, and please watch for more opportunities to tell us what you think, how you feel, and what you want from your school district. We appreciate you and thank you for your generous support. Remember, stay safe, stay strong, and stay together. This is Wildcat Nation, where we educate, inspire, and empower together.